Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are hopefully gonna be updating my Proxmox server. I have a Proxmox server. The idea was that I was gonna shift or move all of my virtual machines from VMware and over to Proxmox and um, yeah, I got I got stuck in that project and then when I wanted to go back to it uh, the power supply in my awesome Lenovo X3650 Model 5 gave up on me. How rude. It's um, it's this one. It's a 750 watt power supply that just stopped working. I was trying to power the data center off of solar at the time. I have no idea if the power supply didn't like that. Uh, there might have been some spikes forth and back and it might have been, I don't know. In a, in a previous video, we purchased a new power supply for it from Bargain Hardware. And uh, that came, it took forever and ever. Yeah, it got stuck in Danish custom. Actually, it didn't take long for it to get to the customs and they sent me uh, what they wanted me to pay for having it imported, which was about ever so slightly less than 200 Danish kroners, which is something close to $30 ish. Um, irritating, but doable. But then after I had paid, it took forever and ever for them to actually ship the package to me. I was actually getting worried. It took like something like 10 days. I'm kind of disappointed with the Danish post office on that one. Usually they are pretty quick. Yeah, we actually have a good post office. They're not always reliable on how fast it goes, but usually they are reliable. Like the packages, they don't disappear forever and ever, but ah, yeah, this one was irritating. So I got the power supply, which wasn't this one. Let's put that over there. It's this one. It's a 900 watt. We got upgraded. More wattage. I don't know if that's a good thing because yeah, that probably means that the server is going to use more watches as well. We're going to pop in this power supply. I have already... I cheated. It works. Let's just do it again for a video purposes. Now that I am promoting Bargain Hardware, remember that you get 5% off of your purchase if you use the checkout code, the coupon code, my playhouse, small letters, uh, on checkout. And uh, yeah. It's only the first time you use it, so make sure to use it wise. Okay, so we are on the back of the server. So uh, the one with all the lights in it is my uh, awesome Lenovo SR650 Model 1, uh, which is always on. And here we have the power supply, and it goes into the server just below it. So that one here. I am trying to film and pop it in at the same time. There. And we have a power cord right here that we can pop in. There. And we get uh, AC OK, which is um, awesome. And I have already connected the cables to it. So we have some cable so that we can go and turn it on and we get some results uh, let's get some better lights now that i have a hand free okay um light thingy is blinking if it blinks very quickly i'm not able to turn on the server if it blinks like this i should be able to press it and it will um, it will turn on the server when it's ready for it so uh, okay and we can move over here where we can turn on the monitor and server is booting. So yeah, we'll get back to it when it has uh, when it has booted Proxmox. Proxmox is booting. So far, so good. This usually don't take very long. There we are. It's up and running. And I can see the IP number that I need to access to get onto my Proxmox server. Okay, we have moved in front of the computer here in the living room. And I'll just show you 
that I have already uh, found my uh, Proxmox server and we are ready to log in. So let's log in and we see it. We are on version 8.1.3 on this one. So I do believe that there is a newer one out there. I'll just look that up. Here we are at Proxmox site. They only really have these three products that they advertise. Uh, Proxmox Virtual Environment, Proxmox Backup Server, Proxmox Mail Gateway. We are interested in the virtual environment over here. So we'll go in there. It doesn't say much. Let's go to the download. And there we can see that Proxmox is now on version 8.2. So naturally we want that because we are on 8.13 and 8.2 has new features. So we need to go and see how do we update our Proxmox server here. I don't want to reinstall everything. I have um, actually have the server here so we can, we can see the summary, see what's in the server. We have the CPUs over here. We have the RAM. The RAM is here. Not using a whole lot of it, um, which is a good thing. We, um, we want to update this. I have enlarged everything to make it easier to, for you to see. So let's start by getting some more real estate here. And we'll make it like a little bit smaller so I get more of these tasks over here. Uh, we do have an update button here and we might just try that and see what we get let's uh, refresh let's, let's go to repository and we have done some stuff in here it's just telling us that our non-subscription repository is not recommended for production use it's probably right but let's go to the updates here and see what happens if we just press the button uh, refresh Update. Uh, your package database is out of date, please. Update. Okay, so we need to we need to update that. Okay, not gonna lie, this is kind of irritating. Uh, why doesn't it work? I, uh, um, it is suggested in the documentation to try. Um, from the shell. Um, it should do exactly the same thing, but it doesn't. <sighs> do you wish to continue? Yes, I do. So, uh, very interested in uh, if this um, just gets this version up to the latest or greatest or if it actually updates the, the whole version uh, of Proxmox. So it has been a bit since I installed this. So uh, it, yeah, you can see it takes a bit. So I'm, I'm just gonna stop waffling and just fast forward. Okay, it completed. So, uh, hmm, do I need to reboot it or anything? Let's do this again. Are you sure you want to leave? Mm, yeah. Okay, can we refresh now? It did do something. And then upgrade. Connecting. And it says. Your system is up to date. Okay. Uh, so, if 
I refresh my page, does this? Yeah! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, that was. I'm not gonna call it too easy because it didn't work at first. I did read somewhere that you might have to turn on your Proxmox server and not press update right away, but I don't know if that's true and uh, I should of course have tried before I uh, I ran the, the shelf commands, but now we are fully up to date and there's something particular that I want to check out. Let's get rid of some of this again. Um, okay, I have found what I was looking for. This is just the main screen. Let's see, it has been busy while we were upgrading over here, otherwise it didn't do much. Um, but if we go up to data center here, and we go into storage and we want to add some storage we now have this ESXi down here which makes it so much easier to move virtual machines over from ESXi and to Proxbox so that I want to mess with in an upcoming video so uh, yeah we're gonna end this one because um, yeah I'm lazy today so uh, I'm gonna keep the suspense and uh, go into this some other day. So an um, awesome result. We, uh, we fixed two issues. My power supply is good to go. I, I should actually, I should go and throw this one out. I were suggested that I should fix it, but I don't know. Um, power supplies and servers, and they're very compact inside and it might just be a fuse, but something made that fuse blow. And then I could go and replace all the caps and blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, but time is money and I'm never gonna get more time, but I might get more money. So I choose to just throw money at the problem and this one is going out. Now I'm struggling. Do I take this apart and take out some good components? Ah, never mind. Um, if you are in the market for buying something for your server, please remember to check out Bargain Hardware. That is bargainhardware.co.uk. Just make sure that you check their price. And if you find that it's a good deal, then remember the checkout code, my playhouse, small letters, for your 5% off of your purchase. And thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And remember, if you're a patron, there is a Patreon video every Sunday. You uh, you should go watch that. I see that you're skipping it. And uh, yeah, I'm making those just for my Patreons. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.